In the world of Claymore, names hold significant meaning and often allude to various elements within the story. I believe that Norihiro Yagi cleverly crafted names that both add depth to the characters and reference outside influences, be it mythology or literature. Let's explore some of these names and their contexts. First, let's delve into the tragic fate of Ophelia, a character from Shakespeare's Hamlet. In Hamlet, Ophelia drowns herself in a river after the death of her father Polonius, giving herself up in grief. Similarly, in Claymore, Ophelia also gives up her life, resigning herself to Claire upon the surface of a lake after she learns that she has awakened, becoming a monster that she sought to destroy. This parallel is not merely a coincidence. It serves as a deliberate homage to Shakespeare's Ophelia. By drawing this connection, Yagi evokes the same sense of tragedy and despair that Shakespeare portrayed in his play. In Galatea, we also find a name rooted in Greek mythology. Galatea was a statue crafted by the sculptor Pygmalion. In the myth, the goddess Aphrodite grants life to the statue, bringing it to existence. In Claymore, God's Eye Galatea is not a statue, but rather a creation of the organization, which uses her yoki powers to keep tabs on the other Claymores. This association with a mythological figure known for being brought to life adds depth to Galatea's character, emphasizing her unique origins and her mysterious nature. Next, we encounter the name Miria, which finds its origin in the Hebrew name Miriam, meaning bitter or rebellion. Miria's attitude towards the organization aligns with the implications of her name. She harbors bitterness and rebelliousness towards the oppressive nature of the organization, perceiving it as corrupt. Miria often challenges their orders and is willing to take a stand against injustice, showcasing her rebellion against the system that created her. Lastly, let's explore the name Teresa, which draws inspiration from Saint Teresa, a figure associated with purity and virtue. In Claymore, Teresa, a powerful Claymore warrior, embodies angelic qualities, especially when she awakens into her pure winged form. Just as St. Teresa is revered for her purity, Teresa in Claymore possesses a similar ethereal presence. Her character represents a beacon of light and goodness amidst the darkness of the Claymore world. By incorporating these allusions into their characters' names, the creators of Claymore deepen the narrative and provide additional layers of meaning. These references to literature and mythology not only enrich the story, but also offer subtle insights into the characters themselves. The tragic fate of Ophelia, the origins of Galatea, the rebellious spirit of Miria, and the angelic essence of Teresa all contribute to the complex and multidimensional world of Claymore. Thank you for listening, and if you're interested in more Claymore analysis, please consider subscribing, since I'll be posting frequently.